check one two brr, brr. hey my friends today i'm going to talk about the process of making a video i just started this not too long ago i'm by no means an expert but i did get advice from a popular vlogger who was giving tips on how to make vlogs yourself my name is Davis So, aka Davis So Comedy. I'm a YouTuber. I'm talking about the sweet suit. I listened to him word for word and did exactly as he said. And he says, don't talk off the cuff. He says, write a script. So don't wing your vlogs. It's not gonna help you out. If anything, it's gonna make it a lot worse for you. So if you look at my script, it kind of actually writes out like an essay. So there's like an intro, there's a body, and then there's a conclusion. So that's exactly what I did for my first few videos. What I found was it was very robotic. It takes so long to memorize the entire script that you what you end up doing is you just read one line, try to memorize that one line, and then say the one line as enthusiastically as you can. And rinse and repeat, you just have a whole bunch of interruptions where you're reading the script and then memorizing it and then performing it. Hey, what is going on YouTube? Now, now I don't need to, need to tell you what this is about. Do I? Now I don't need to, now I don't need to tell you what this is about now. Do I? Birdman. That's the only way I thought you could write a vlog because that's the way I was taught. But I see these people like Russell Brand or, you know, Jordan Peterson who can talk off the cuff for many, many minutes at a time, maybe even hours at a time. And this is completely, it seems completely improvised. But at the same time, the quality is so high of what they're saying. It feels like they're writing an essay on the spot and it's a great essay, but they're just talking off the cuff. So I actually know a friend who is somewhat like this. Um, and I was like, I want to be more like him. When he gives a speech, it's just so natural, so free flowing. There's no sign that it was rehearsed for so long. It was just like a natural free flowing conversation with the audience. And those are the best speeches. It's kind of a turnoff when you see a speech that looks so robotic and memorized. I mean, obviously, a lot of speeches are memorized and some do be a better job at pulling it off, making it seem natural. Mm. I'll, I'll just give a few examples so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. Let me explain. We'll all die at one point or another, right? Our bodies will fail us and we'll die of disease or old age. Good was some version of a super baby, some ultra healthy human who possessed not a single flaw and would practically wear a cape flying into her superhero future. Pavement has no thoughts, I said, and there is plenty of it. It's everywhere. So I was like, how do I become more like Daniel? How do I become more like Russell Brand, Jordan Peterson, who can just talk off the cuff for so long and just come off as a natural speaker? As I mentioned in my previous video, my friend Connor said, why don't you try going completely no script? I was like, then just write an outline? And he's like, no, not even an outline. Just go completely off the cuff, see how it goes. And so far it's worked out okay. I haven't spent an hour filming, an hour and a half, like David So says. It's literally gonna be you in front of a camera for about like an hour and a half just getting pissed off. So if you practice it before you hit that record button, it'll be a lot smoother. It's been seven, eight minutes of filming at a time. And I feel like I'm doing an okay job. Obviously it's not as good as if I rehearsed it and I'm being really enthusiastic and I have some canned material that I prepared, but I guess everything comes with practice, right? So the more I practice talking off the cuff, the more I practice monologuing, you sly dog, you got me monologuing, the better I should get at it. So yeah, there are definitely advantages to writing a script, rehearsing it, and performing it. But I guess the skill I'm going for is that natural speaker who can talk quite clearly with a high degree of precision. So that's why I started going off the cuff and going against the advice. There was my little spiel. Thanks for watching and may you be free from suffering.